Sally Barnes Breen says her father in law died while waiting for a follow up appointment at the Phoenix Veterans Hospital, a charge now being investigated by federal authorities after allegations emerged that the hospital maintained a secret waiting list to hide lengthy delays in care. Former VA doctor Samuel Foote says staff kept the off the books list to impress their bosses and get bonuses. If you died on that list, they could just cross your name off and there was no trace that you'd ever been to the Phoenix VA. Thomas Breen, a 71-year-old Navy veteran, had been diagnosed with bladder cancer and was experiencing blood in his urine when he saw a doctor in late September. So this is the consult report that they promised to give pop urgency within one week. But the days came and went with no word from the hospital, and Breen died on November 30th, more than a month after his initial appointment. A few weeks later, the phone finally rang. They asked for Thomas Breen, and I asked him who's calling. They said the VA hospital with a primary doctor for him. I said, well, you're a little too late. He's dead because of all of you. Families with similar stories have joined politicians from both parties in loud protests over VA care. But the hospital has strongly denied the existence of a secret list. And hours before she was placed on administrative leave, Director Sharon Hellman expressed shock at the allegations. Um, to think that any of us would do anything like that to harm any veteran uh, for any financial reasons is very, very disturbing. Politicians are calling for resignations and congressional inquiries are underway with VA Secretary Eric Shinseki slated to appear before a Senate committee this week. President Barack Obama announced late Wednesday that White House Deputy Chief of Staff Rob Neighbors will oversee a review of the troubled department. Maggie Mazzetti, Associated Press.